Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 17 of Direwolf20's Let's Play of Project Architect 2, uh, where I'm uh, cleaning up some of my stuff at my mob farm here. Now, let's not die on the way back home, because that would be bad. Uh, but I've got 138 levels of experience, ready to roll. Uh, and in addition to that, I just got a bunch more EMC, an extra one and a half million-ish. Not too shabby. Um, between episodes, I've been thinking about what my next steps should be. Uh, I'm debating where I want to go next. Now, one thing I did do was kind of redeploy my uh, my little setup here for enchanting. So we should be good to get an enchanting station going uh, if we want to. And that might be something that we start, you know, cooking on in the next few minutes. Uh, because I wouldn't mind actually having some armor and maybe some good enchants and maybe... Uh, some kind of stuff. Now, here's a question, though. What enchanting options do we have for, like, disenchanting, um, and that kind of stuff, right? Um, is foregoing in the pack? It is. I like foregoing and the enchantment stuff that you can do with it. It just is something that we always do. And I'm looking to see if there's, like, an alternative... Like, another way to go about it, you know what I mean? Because um, we've got, you know, the enchantment extractor. That's, like, the big one, right? That's that's the cool one. Um, so, yeah. Is that, like, a thing we're going to want to think about? We're going enchantments. So, like, what other enchanty type things do we have here besides foregoing? Is there anything? Like, that's, I guess, your first and foremost question. Is there a way... Oh, my goodness. Look, loves to visit. Uh, yep. Nothing exciting. A mining helmet? What is that from? Spelunker's Charm. Okay. Yeah. I also, I also want to be able to dispose of these llamas and these traders a little bit quicker. Because they take a, survive, a surprising amount of damage before they're like, yeah, I'm done. Right? I mean, surprising amount. Very surprising, frankly. Um, so, yeah. What do we want to do in terms of enchanting? Can, can ours do anything with enchantments? Can we, like, strip off enchantments with ours? Like an enchantment remover? Um... Because that might be cool. Ooh, the tomes have... Well, some of the tomes have EMC values. That's neat. Um, does not destroy the item. Oh. Yep. So that'll remove them all. But you know, well... Do you think with the Library of Alexandria, if we were to get all the enchants off an item, right? Because, um, like, that's not terrible. Level 60 infusion requires a certain amount of... Quanta and Arcana, but we can start making that happen. Extracts all the enchantments, which destroys the item in the process, right? Um, extracts half, right? So that we get that, and then we bump it up, and then we bump it up again, and then we could have that to extract them. So could I just extract them all and then stick it in the Library of Alexandria and call it a day? I guess. I don't actually know. I guess we could find out. Um, anything else that we could do... Uh, refreshes enchanting options, but uses some EXP. It's kind of cool. Awaken Draconium, Disenchanter from Draconic. I don't remember how this one works, the Draconic Disenchanter. And also, in order to get to it, we would need some Draconium, which I haven't found yet. I assume that lives exclusively in the end. Is that a fair guess that that might be the case? Um, what other options do we have here? Enchanted Fruit. Um... Yeah, reliquary type stuff. Travel anchor is not enchantment. Enchanting guide. Create enchantment industry. Huh. Should we just look? Uh, right click the blaze burner with an enchanting guide in hand. To make a blaze burner work, enchanting guide must be configured first. I don't know what this does. Experience related. Disenchanter, printer, enchanting guide, nugget of experience, bottle of hyper enchanting, item drain, spout, printer, you say? Well, that's interesting. It can copy? Is that what this does? That's interesting. Hmm. 
Then there's the disenchanter from create. Uh, it just converts it to liquid experience though. I don't think we get, I don't think we'll get um, stuff for that. Uh, let me just look to see if there's any way to disenchant things with R's. And then what I might do is try this path just because we've never done it before and see if we like it. And if we do, cool. And if not, also cool. Because um, my problem previously was always like, I don't like it when you get a book with all the enchants on it. I like being able to separate them out into individual books. That said, if I can take a book with all the enchantments on it and just toss it into a library of Alexandria and then remove individual books, I'm cool with that. All right, so I've got a few hell shelves. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually bring my experience dude right down here. So that I can more accurately do the things that I need to do, right? So then we're gonna just need lapis. And we'll just like bang through this super quick, right? And that gets us a little Quanta, a little extra Eterna. Um, remind me what, um, now why are you suddenly soul bound? Suddenly soul bound. What did we do wrong? There we go. Good enough for me. I don't care if it's a few extra levels. Cool, so that's 27. We might want... One more? What's the top on this? Max 27. Okay, so we are maxed out, but that's okay. A few extra don't hurt nothing. All right, sweet. Uh, now what I can do is upgrade this to have max 30 with the glowstones. Is that pretty much what I want? That gives you more quanta. This gives you more of a balance, right? So I'll get all three of these going. And that's pretty close. I might do this a few more times. Twenty nine point five. Super close. Oh, this one's not even enchanted. Glowing, 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 glowing. Confusion. There we go. Thirty. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that's part one. All right. So now I've made three more infused hell shells, which I can use to make my enchantment library, which is cool, right? Um, now you guys are going to go, what, here, and then, what, here? Okay, cool. So that means I can put my enchantment library here if I wish, right? Uh, so now, let's try enchanting something, right? So I'm just going to take my sword, do whatever with it, right? So I got leech, I got smite, I got all this cool stuff, right? So now, let's see what happens when I do this. So, here, 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 here. Here. That's cool. Okay. Uh, and then that just needs to be level 45 infusioned. Now the question is, what exactly do I need in there? So for that we're going to need, um, requires at least 25. Well, that's this, this one. At least 25%, but no more than 50. And then 35 for that. So 25 to 50. That's actually we're in the range, right? 35 and 28 is where we're at. 35 is in the range. 28. We need more Arcana. We need more Arcana. Uh, that's okay. Is that cool? Infusion. Nice. Okay. And then this one... Um, can be a higher tier infusion. The only deal with him, right? So these are like the junky tomes. These are the better tomes. Now, if we want them to be superior, we need a higher tier infusion. And that one needs, um, 
At least 25, but no more than 75, and at least 45. Cool. Infusion, nice. Hopefully this is cool, because I'm doing a bunch of them, right? So then how does this work? Is it like, is it like this? Is this how it works? Is it like, is it like this? Is this how it works? Nope. Uh, is it like an anvil? Look at all the having infinite iron that's working just so beautifully. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. You and you? Oh, hello. Enchantment cost 80. Goodness, that's a lot. I guess, in fairness, there's a lot of things on there. So let's... You're not going to use, like, all 80 levels, though, right? Right? Like, that's not going to use 80 levels, is it? Raw XP cost? Because that seems like a really large amount of experience to use. Oh my goodness, it used all 80 experience levels. I do not like Sam I Am. I mean, I like that it splits them in the library, but I don't know if I like it using 80 experience levels. That's a lot of experience. Granted, we have like infinity billion experience. Like we don't, okay. So right now we don't have a stupid, like we have a good amount of experience. We don't have a stupid amount of experience. That's, that's, that's an expensive, disenchant right i mean like you know we're cool here right we're getting experience very nicely uh, it feels like a lot more experience than i want us to be spending right now on something like that like that was cool but holy cow was that expensive um Now, destroys the item in the process. What if I don't care about destroying the item in the process? I'm okay with testing this, right? So give me 60 levels back. Okay, what we're going to do is this to get superior. We're going to do this to get a bunch of stuff. And then we're going to compare the difference. So if I do that and that, it's 48 levels to extract those guys. If I do this, it's 30 levels that's a little better. But it's going to destroy my sword, which I guess I don't care about. I mean... I mean... Can't I just, like, spam a bunch of iron swords and call it a day? I would say yes. Still, 30 experiences. Not in a Steeza, right? So, like, I like that. I do. You should be able to give me infusion at level 45, by the way. Oh, I need more lapis. And then look at it generating more lapis for me. It's so good. Right, so this is it's an approach, right? So what I could get, like, I could even get, like, a gold sword because it has, like, better... And I assume, like, whatever, um, you know, enchanter on there determines what's getting extracted, right? So, like, you know, we got, we got, we got some stuff, you know? And it's cool that I can just separate them out this way. So this is how you can split them. It's definitely experience hungry to do it that way, though. So I'm, I'm like thinking, do I want to go that route or no? Because what I could do, I could easily just make like a bunch of swords, right? Does that just have a built-in looting too? It's kind of cool. Can I, can I scrape that? No. Right. But then I bring it over here, right? And I'm not going to do this too much right now, but like this is the demonstration, right? And then I do you and you, and it costs 30 levels, but then I get all that stuff. And I can throw it in the library, right? And we won't really do that until we get to level 100 here. 
but that could work. Now, in terms of actual tools and armor that I'd like to use, I think I'm going to go Flux because it's been a while since I've done Flux, right? Um, so Flux infused stuff is fun. Uh, all we need to know is how to make flux infused ingots, um, which looks pretty easy. Uh, and then fire charges, also pretty easily. Um, and then flux infused gems, and then flux infused this dude and this dude. And that, I would argue, leads to a very easy bit of automation. So now what I can do is make one of you, bing, up oh, right out of obsidian. Right, you, you, and then that's cool, right? And now it's charging up, we can power it, and it looks cool, right? And then we can enchant this dude and get some good, you know, awesome enchants on him. And does that sound cool? And we can do the same with, like, the bow. Right? String. Cool. Uh, and maybe just, like, a full set of armor. Right? Now, there's other armors we can get, too, in the pack. So I may... You know, see... All right, so I spent a few minutes off camera just using up some of my experience, and now I'm at the point where I don't have enough to get 60. So I'm going to have to wait for my farm up there to continue to make more. That said, I did manage to get a few good enchants. So I've got Endless Quiver, which is cool. Uh, I'm thinking multi-bow fires extra horizontal arrows from your bow. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I need that right now. Power, power sounds good for sure. Quick draw, yes, big fan of quick draw. Always like quick draw. Uh, true shot sounds cool. And what's volley do? Three arrows are fired in an arc, only one arrow is consumed. Meh, meh. So let's do this in like the smart, conservative way with experience, only because like, how are you all of a sudden five? No, because you went to there, didn't you? Okay, uh, cool. And now you're gonna be six. And then six more. Then Magna goes back because that was a click mistake. And then finally, ten. Now, does endless? No, it doesn't. So it makes all arrows infinite. So it's not the same as infinity, which is a little bit of a bummer. It means I have to carry an arrow on me. Now, in fairness, I could absolutely make that cool arrow ring, um, you know, happen. Uh, you, you're the thing I want. Arrow, yes. So if I have an arrow on me, then we're cool, right? Like, bing, bing, bing. I think, now in fairness, I could absolutely use this guy if I wanted to, which is a pretty OP set of equipment, right? Like, um, I think I actually have a few extra bows. So I just need some feathers and one of these dudes which I can get this way and then just a couple of feathers and we're cool and we can compare using the Archangel Smite to like a pretty beefed up bow because I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't get in chance right like he can have reactive and soul bound and that's about it so like what's better like a super end gamey like awesome bow from uh from from there and also like once we get to draconic we'll have an even better bow so i suspect that like the top tier bows with the top tier enchants are going to be better than archangel smite even though this has homing and like other stuff on it like kind of kind of doesn't matter so here's what i'm thinking right uh we can put this stuff away do we have like that much dark matter laying around i don't know why we have so much dark matter but i'm gonna do that okay um is there a quiver there might be a quiver if there's a quiver that could be cool. There is a quiver. So what do we got here? Crusaders. Arrow damage is increased by 50. Living targets has a 25% chance of retribution. I guess Crusaders quiver? Oh, that's going to require a cyclic. All right, what does this guy get me? Um, I don't know. 
So let's let's see what the flux infused quiver does. Cuz it sounds cool, right? Is that like a quiver quiver cuz I'm actually now noticing that it doesn't have a slot. Like this has a slot. This does not have a slot. These all have slots uh, except this one. So like it sounds cool. I don't know what empowering it does. In fact, I'm now questioning everything about the quiver. Does that like do anything? Flux infused quiver. What's that even do? Flux infused quiver. See? Uh, so flux infused quiver uh, provides powerful ammunition for bows when charged. So does that mean like I don't need this no more? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. A charged flux infused quiver serves as ammunition for arrows. It makes bows shoot arrows that are unaffected by gravity and disappear on impact or after traveling for too long. Uh, arrows from flux infused quiver deal the same amount of damage as regular arrows. Arrows, they deal flux damage, a special type of damage that bypasses armor. Uh, that's cool. Nice. And then you can just put holding on it. So, I mean, it's basically like instead of carrying an arrow. Like, so unfortunately I can't put it here, which is a bummer. But like, okay. I mean... That's neat, right? I'm cool with that. Alright, so now what I think I'd like to do... Uh, do we want armor before we go do this? Because I think I think my next step is going to the end. Um, now I'm also going to say I'm not a huge fan of how much experience it takes to disenchant things. So I might wind up going with the disenchanter. I might try the draconic disenchanter though. All I need to do is get a little draconium, which hopefully I can find in the end. And then if that doesn't work out, then we'll do uh, the uh, enchantment extractor uh as a final last resort right um so is this like sufficient armor to go to the end do we feel like or is that like a kind of silly idea uh, yeah. i don't know that i have a good answer to that one thing i can do though is check out my sword so slows and weakens the target sure uh don't like no knock back eh, sharpness for sure is something we're gonna want on there right and uh that's probably it so let's get you and you Enchantment cost five, enchantment cost five, and then we're good to go. So I think what I'll do is just, for the sake of, like, simplicity, I can make a quickie Dark Matter armor. Does that sound cool? Shouldn't be too bad, right? And then that would be you, and then that would be you. And then you guys can go away. A little Dark Matter, don't hurt nothing. That'll be, like, better armor than I currently had. Now, these things do have, like, a couple cool little knickknacks to them, right? Like, you know, this one had a little extra health and some slots. But, like, we'll circle back to that at some point. Um, you know, a little step height going on. So I think I lost step height by removing that armor. I'm going to have to find a way to get it back. But first, let's get some Eyes of Ender, right? So um, I have this thing with me, right? So if this thing's with me, I can make a waystone when I get to my place. Let's real quick just take a quick look at the quests because find the stronghold and then that'll get me a cool book stronghold riddle by chosen architect okay there we go it's looking for the stronghold and it's like i have no idea where the stronghold is direwolf so away as we go you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add to Just Dire Things an alternate way to find strongholds. That would just be a little bit more kind of funnish. Um, so how about we do this? I think it's probably about wrapping up point anyway. So I'm going to head towards a stronghold. When we get there, I will come back for the next episode. Cool? So we'll start the next episode at the stronghold, and then we'll, you know, See what's what. Does that sound like a cool plan? Because I'm pretty much guaranteeing you that's what's about to happen to us right now. So hopefully you like it because I can't hear you if you don't. So for now, that's my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, explore the stronghold. Check out this riddle that Chosen left us. And then uh, possibly get to the end. Possibly see or fight an Ender Dragon. Possibly get access to Draconium and other cool things. And then we'll just continue having fun with this pack. Because it's, it's a very different pack. And I hope I hope you guys are enjoying the differentness of it. I'm like leaning into it. Like it's different in general just because of EMC and all the other mechanics in it. But also I'm like making a point to like 
do things in a way that I don't usually do them. So hopefully that's, uh, you know, enjoyable for you all. All right, for now, take it easy.